Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. On July 28th, 1990, I bought one of the most important books of my life. In the days before the internet, the Psychotronic Encyclopedia of Film introduced me to hundreds of movies that I would have otherwise never heard of. In the month after I bought the book, I made a list of 951 movies that I wanted to see. The list was 34 pages long. Even though the term bucket list didn't exist back in 1990, I do remember wondering to myself if I could possibly see them all before I died. By 1996, I had seen over 450 of the movies, over half of the list. I'd search video stores for VHS copies, trade videotapes with friends around the country, and scour the cable and UHF TV listings. By 2010, I'd seen almost 800 of the movies, but finding more was rare, until they started turning up on YouTube. I've now seen 919 out of the 951 movies. Let's take a look at the 32 movies that are left on my bucket list. Five of the movies have actually recently been released on DVD, so seeing these will be simple once I have the money to buy them. The 1933 jungle movie White Woman, the 1965 horror movie Curse of the Stone Hand, the 1954 Lon Chaney Jr. movie The Big Chase, the 1963 British horror movie Black Zoo, and the 1967 Mamie Van Doren movie You've Got to Be Smart. Some of the others are going to be pretty hard to see because they are now considered to be movies that are lost films. Like the 1930 mystery movie, The Cat Creeps. The 1962 horror comedy, The Weird Ones. All copies of it are believed to have been destroyed in a fire. The 1972 horror movie, Voodoo Heartbeat. A couple people have claimed they own prints of the movie, but there's no proof. The 1962 Jane Mansfield movie, Spree. I read that the last known print was unintentionally destroyed in the early 90s and the 1961 Lon Chaney Jr. movie Rebellion in Cuba seems to have been seen by no one. There are four other movies on my list that may be impossible to see because they may have never been made. The 1968 Paul Nashi movie Knights of the Werewolf, the 1964 horror sci-fi movie Demon from Devil's Lake, and the 40s and 50s Bela Lugosi movies Dr. Terror's House of Horrors and Lock Up Your Daughters are all films that are believed by many to never have actually existed. Even if I can't see those, there's still other rare films on the list that I'm hoping I get to view one day. The post-apocalyptic sci-fi film Captive Women from 1952. The Bela Lugosi Boris Karloff film The Best Man Wins from 1935. Cuckoo Patrol, a 1965 musical featuring the band Freddy and the Dreamers. The 1950s and 1960s jungle movies Dark Venture and Love Slaves of the Amazon. A Czechoslovakian sci-fi movie called The Man in Outer Space from 1961, and from that same year, a comedy called Magic Spectacles, which a guy uses to see women without their clothing. Ooh, how kinky. A few of the movies are from major studios, and you'd think they'd be available by now. Summer Love from 1957 and Running Wild from 1955 are juvenile rock and delinquency films from Universal Pictures, who don't seem to care much anymore about their old product. And 1955's Hell on Frisco Bay is a Warner Brothers movie. I really cannot understand why this film has never been available on video. I'm also still waiting to see 1932's The Miracle Man, 1934's Return of the Terror, 1954's Colonel March Investigates, 1957's Journey to Freedom, 1958's Edge of Fury, 1963's Homesick for St. Paul, and 1970's Is This Trip Really Necessary? Finally, there's one film on my list that I could actually watch right now. The serial The Mysterious Dr. Satan from 1940. It's on YouTube. Trouble is, it would take four hours to watch the whole thing. Maybe I'll just watch one chapter a week, like they did when it came out. In the meantime, I've been watching many of the other movies in the Psychotronic Encyclopedia of Film. Out of the over 3,000 movies in the book, I've seen 2,346 of them. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about all the strange, obscure movies today. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.